In this demonstration, we will capture asset information from the functional design of the project, create the corresponding project items, and place them in the product model. Before we start preparing equipment items for modeling, we will activate a task to manage and track changes. While the engineering team developed the functional design, a master list of equipment was created. This equipment information is often found in intelligent schematics, other design systems, or Excel spreadsheets. For our purposes, we need information about the dry bulk conveying system and its assets, such as tanks, pumps, and other equipment. We then capture all this information in the project item list. To add the equipment to our product model, we need more information about each piece, including a 3D representation. In our case, we have a model of the dry bulk discharge unit from the vendor. We also specify the weight and center of gravity to check and track weight as the project progresses. We will also define the location, type, and size of any pipe, HVAC, or electrical connections required for interfacing the dry bulk discharge unit with other equipment. These intelligent connections form a parametric model and let us connect only valid stock types. We must insert the piece of equipment in a way that does not clash with any other part of the vessel. However, it is equally crucial that soft interferences, including maintenance and operational envelopes, are considered. As identified earlier in the project, the dry bulk discharge units shall be placed in the structure openings between frames 42 and 46. We will use the baseline as a reference to visualize and locate the frames. We will insert each of the required pieces of equipment directly from the project item list, ensuring that the correct item is used in each case. Now, we move the discharge units 1,000 millimeters upwards to account for foundations. We have placed the dry bulk discharge units, the discharge compressors, the air dryer and the air receiver tank into the product model. The items in use in the 3D model are indicated in the project item list. Of course, any clashes that arise should be dealt with early on and the system has been checking for conflicts as we model. Here the system has warned about a clash between a ladder and a maintenance envelope of a discharge compressor. Correcting the position of the compressor avoids issues with operating the equipment. After all conflicts in the model are resolved, we can continue detailing the project. We have brought our master equipment list from the functional design, defined the required equipment, and placed the items into the product model. Our equipment item has been placed in the project and is included in weight, center of gravity, and other calculations. The dry bulk discharge unit was also automatically assigned to the compartment in which we have placed it. Now we are ready to route the 3D piping systems necessary for the dry bulk conveying system. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com.